Boom, what's up guys? Sweet Outdoors, Doors, Sweet Outdoors, Daryl's Bar and Grill, Daryl's Kitchen. A little something different today, but it's something that I'm sure you guys love as much as I do. Uh, the only thing is it takes a couple hours to make, actually it takes a couple days to make, but it's something that backpack, hikers, survivalist campers, everybody loves beef jerky. I'm gonna show you my recipe to beef jerky. First things first, the beef. Whatever that is, that's what we're using. Slice thin and there is enough there to make a lot of beef jerky, which is a good thing because it don't last long in this house. Second ingredient. Boom, that's right. A1 beef jerky with a kick. We're gonna slap your mama. Stick around for this, cause this is gonna be good. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. First things first, we'll take our meat, our steak. Beef top round, extra thin cut for milanadas. I don't know what that is. So we're gonna use it for our beef turkey. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna point you down, just relax. You should be able to see that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. And we're just gonna cut it into strips. However big you want. But I find that mine, when I do it, this is how I like it. So, I'm gonna cut the rest of this. You see what's going on here. I'm gonna cut the rest of this. I'll bring you back. All right, we're all done. See that? That is perfect for me. Some people like a little thinner. Some people like a little thicker. Personal preference, do what you like to do. One thing that is very important though, when choosing a meat, for beef jerky. As little fat as possible. Sirloin is always a good meat to use because there's very little fat. Fat does not dehydrate good. So you want to make as little fat as possible. This little stuff that's in here will be okay. I have dehydrated sirloin this is my first time doing this. I've bought the strips that they cut for stir fry. I've made it out of that. I've even went to the deli and had them cut me thick cut fresh roast beef and made it with that. It turned out delicious. Okay, we got our meat in the bag. Now, we're gonna go ahead and slap your mom. This, as you know from watching my other videos, will give it bite, and we like to bite. Now, the A1, because we love the A1. That really offends a lot of steak lovers. Good steak don't need A1, which is correct. Good cut of meat, cooked right, seasoned perfect does not need A1. I do not put A1 on my steak. I love A1. I put A1 beside my steak and dip it when I feel like it. Now we're just gonna mix this up real good to make sure that the A1 and the Slap Your Mama is good and mixed. 
together. Now what we're going to do, squeeze some of the air out of this. Like such. This is going in the refrigerator until tomorrow. So I'll bring you back tomorrow. We'll put it in the dehydrator and we will dehydrate it for three to four hours. And then we're gonna have some good beef jerky. Stick around for that guys, it's gonna be good. All right guys, so here, here's our meat. It's actually been marinating for a couple of days. Uh, <clears throat> Got a little under the weather the other day, so I didn't get a chance to do anything with it. So we're gonna do that now. Chill out. Let's see here. This is my dehydrator. We're not plugged in yet. So we're just gonna start and take it out. And basically just lay it out like this. We got a, a lot of meat here and I'm hoping I have enough room on the dehydrator. You want to make sure it's good and open, stretched out. I can tell you right now, this is going to be delicious. Oh yeah. Hopefully we won't run out of room with all the other trays and there we go you don't want to overlap or lay it on top you want to try to make sure that every piece is open and stretched out good and ready to go so there is one Move on to the next. Oh, yeah. I can tell you right now, some of this didn't separate too good. But it's still got some good seasoning soaked up in it. We used the whole bottle of A1, so we definitely got, got it covered. You can add whatever kind of seasoning, of course, that you want, like I've told you guys. Make it your own, but this is my version of A1 beef jerky. Good old pieces on here too. Oh, this is gonna be so good. The nice thing about buying this already cut like this, this is basically the perfect thickness for beef jerky. In my opinion, of course. And then just cut into the size pieces that I enjoy. I think we're going to be good. Maybe. All 
All right, here we are. Each tray is full. Even if you don't use all your trays, you still want to put all your trays on. That way it allows the air to flow properly. We're going to put our lid on. There. It's on. Going to plug this bad boy in, turn it on. Next time you see me, it'll be done. All right, guys. Say hello, Livy. Hello, Livy. <laughs> That's my grandbaby. We're done. Go ahead and turn it off. And this is it. The finished product. Actually, that looks like it could probably go a little bit more. Cut perfect, season perfect. And delicious. Hope you enjoyed this. Save you a lot of money making your own jerky. Let's get the flavors that you want. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. Go ahead, give me that thumbs up. Hit the like. Please hit the subscribe. Notification. All the good stuff. Download and share. Check us out on Facebook, Sweet Outdoors. Be safe. God bless. Get outside, people, with some good jerky.